New at 11 sports, often bringing people together and can teach valuable life lessons along the way. For Charlotte's Derrida Warriors, a team of 10 and under kids in West Charlotte, beating the odds is nothing new. Last season, coaches dedicated the season to a 15-year-old former player who was shot and killed in 2022. This season, they're close to qualifying for a national championship, all while learning life lessons off the field. Our Brandon Hamilton joins us now live with more on this. Brandon. Yeah, Siobhan, here at 11, you know, we often talk about those life experiences and how they mold children into adults. Now, on the field, these kids are winners. Off the field, they're not immune to what's happening in their neighborhoods. And when I say that, I'm talking about the gun violence in Charlotte. Now, football is keeping them not only productive, but busy as well. And this weekend, they have one more game, but their sight in their eyes, yeah, it's set on the Super Bowl, Pop Warner Super Bowl, that is, in Orlando, Florida. Get in there now, get in there, get in there. Football for them is an outlet. Life lessons happening with each play call. There's so many things that happen in the game of football that happens in life. For the Derrida Warriors, the game of football already changing these young boys' outlook on life. Working as a group and building a relationship, being respectful being disciplined and working hard so we can keep developing. The Warriors have seen their share of tragedy. Last season was dedicated to a former player, a 15-year-old shot and killed in 2022. In May, the team took a trip to Washington, D.C., a bonding experience that led to this. Yeah! Last month, the 10U team won the city championship. Up next, a trip to Orlando, Florida, hopefully playing in the Pop Warner Super Bowl. Some of these kids don't don't leave outside of the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So just like the trip to D.C., being able to go to Florida and accomplish something, I think it'd be, it can be a life changer for them. Now step across the field. Life changing not only for these players, but the cheerleaders as well. The cheerleaders have already been crowned city and regional champions. We're excited and we're excited to go to Florida. Playmakers on the field, making memories they'll remember for a long time. When we look at ourselves like 10 years or five years from mm -hmm. now, it's going to be like a background because when we get older, we can tell the story on and on. And Siobhan, so the football team, they will play this weekend in Wilmington for the regional championship. Again, hoping to earn that spot in Orlando for the Pop Warner Super Bowl. Now, as far as the cheerleading squad, again, they've already won their regional uh, uh, competition, so they will be in Orlando. They've earned their spot in the championship game. Now, the Dorado Warriors, they're hoping for the community support to get to Florida. We'll have the information on how you can help on our website at WBTV. Com. Reporting live tonight in Charlotte, Brandon Hamilton, WBTV on your